People, 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 welcome back to another pre-recorded podcast of the Arsenio Buck Show. What are teachers? You know, I had some conversations erupt over the past week. You know, I'm sitting there with some of my students. And I'm like, guys, look at this book. I want you to take a good look at this book. Flip through the book. They flip through it. And I said, you can self-learn this book at home. And they said, yeah, yeah. I said, yeah. I said, yeah. So why do you pay all the money to study? And they just sat there. And I said, is it because the teacher? Is it because the conversations that the teacher are the teachers are supposed to have? Is it? I don't know. I'm just asking you a question. It's kind of like this. If I bring up a question in regards to uh, what what should we start doing today to ensure the survival of our planet in the next 50 to 100 years? And if you just give me a question and I go back to question number two, what have I done as a teacher? You could do that at home and speak to yourself at home. Right? So what I'm trying to say here is what is the basis of a teacher? Is the teacher just supposed to write stuff on the board and go by – Go page by page, but you know, number by number, book by book, and oh, my 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 student has absolutely gotten so better because of this specific book. First of all, you're lying. Second of all, it's untrue. Third of all, you as a teacher should be there to give so much more to a student than to just open a book and go number by number anyone on that planet could do it i could get anyone from america canada uk australia to come here and do the same thing that you're doing oh my god i love what my student said though he said you know what what's so great about this is that you give us conversations and when you give us conversations to give us ideas ideas influence and insights That could ultimately change our life. That's what you give us, Arsenio. And I said, see, that is the basis of learning. See, guys, remember, just uh, just earlier this year in March, I went to NIST International School. NIST International School. This is a school that is very expensive, but it has developed so many unbelievable beings and mindsets and everything. Everything. In terms of individual, you know, individuality and especially collaboration. And I asked him, I said, what kind of books do you use? He said, we don't use books at this school. And I said, what? You don't use books at this school? He said, nope, we learn by theme. I said, oh, my God. You learn by theme. Went into some of these classes. You got these seven to eight-year-old girls cooking, literally cooking at this age of seven and eight. Being video recorded by a Thai teacher, and she just had one of the biggest, sincere smiles on her face while she was watching these two individuals. Went into another class, and this uh, uh, the director of the school is like, "Hey, look over there. That's a three-time figure skating uh, champion. Uh, and this, you know, particular figure skating champion, uh, she is a brilliant. Uh, so, you know, she's brilliant in math. She does. She has done this. She has done that. There were ten to 11-year-olds who developed a partnership to get clean water and clean food to a village in Cambodia. There were a couple others who actually did so much in terms of, hey, you know what? I'm nine years old, but I'm going to develop coffee for this school so people could actually have coffee to drink here. Are these are, are these like, like purebred entrepreneurs? I have no idea. But what I'm telling you right now is textbooks don't mean shit so i mean what i've grown up by and what the western world grows up by and what these fool ass you know i'm not even gonna say it but these particular individuals they grown up by oh i was born up i was born in the 1920s 30s 40s 50s 60s 70s they didn't be the baby boomers they were born in this specific age and they believe that learning is all about a book and that is a goddamn shame You know, I remember opening up that biology book and I'm like, what is this going to do in terms of the attainment of my goals, my vision? Yes, okay, nurses and doctors and lawyers and this and that. I understand that. I'm talking about someone who is going after to be a lead marketing, you know, advertising exec or, uh, or, you know, be an entrepreneur in this realm or develop a social media platform that could actually extend out to countries such as Bhutan and Lesotho or, you know, go to Cyprus and develop something. 
I'm talking about that, man. Is school going to develop anything like that? Do they have a course on entrepreneurship? Do they have a course on the habit of saving? Do they have a course on self-confidence? Do they have a course on the habit of doing more than what you're paid to? Do they have a course on self-control, which the world is lacking right now? No, 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 and hell no. So what are these? And, and the thing is, this is the big generation gap, okay? This is basically a Gen Y versus a Gen B baby boomer. And I'm basically saying, hey, you know what? What you're doing here is not preparing the student in no way to take on what's out there in the real world. Okay, well, at such a small, um, at a low level, they have to do this and they have to do that. (laughs) Yeah, by all means. Okay, yeah, cool. But at the same time, you're not supposed to rush through it. (sighs) Guys, this is the problem with English teachers, especially scattered all across the world. Because they literally just open up a book, they write shit on the board, they have the students copy it, and then they go home. You're not teaching. Get the hell out of here. You're a disgrace. You are a disgrace. I don't give a damn. Oh, oh, let's play a song, okay? Because this song is going to make their life so much better. They could listen to songs at home. What are you doing in the allotted time you have in an 8 a.m. to a 4, 4 p.m. day? That's going to bring an i or is going to flo- You know, an idea is going to flourish within the mind of a specific individual a student what are you gonna what are you doing nothing this is what's so frustrating now i don't know what i'm gonna be getting into when i go out there to these other countries and whatnot but again my philosophy is basically predicated on that nist the na- uh what is it the national internet i don't know what it is but nist n-i-s-t which is in bangkok their philosophy is all about collaboration. And you know what was so beautiful about it? You had an African child over here. You had a Muslim child. You had an Indian child. You had some children from Sweden. Had a couple of children from Bhutan. You had a couple of Thai children. You had a couple of Japanese over here. You had a couple of folks over there from uh, South Africa. All talking to each other. Collaboration. And so when you get these students. And you get uh, basically, you know, historical teachers, especially Thai teachers, who literally make an example out of these students. And they bring up one student who is white of a fair complexion. And you bring up another student who's of a tan con- uh, complexion. And she makes an example out of the both of them. She says, look, fair skin, beautiful, tan, ugly. Is that teaching? Is that part of the culture? Nope, I'm not complaining about the culture whatsoever. I don't give a damn. Because I'm, I'm, I'm one step out of here. I'm already, my mind is already out of here. But what I'm trying to say right now is for those of you who are learning all around the world, I don't know what ages you are. I don't know what age group you fall into. I don't know if you're a baby boomer. I don't know if you're a Gen X. I don't give a damn. I don't care about labels. But I want you to think back on the time that you went to school or you are going to school currently. And think about it. You're sitting in a psychology class. Psychology, sociology, these classes, you should be having group activities in terms of Hey, self-confidence and be like, okay, you guys are going to give a presentation on this specific uh, origin. You guys are going to come to the front of the class. You're going to do this. I would put them so far out of their comfort zone because it develops self-confidence. So many people just do not understand this. And it's so frustrating hearing, oh, well, uh, you're not academic. The hell does academic have with do it with, with, with the world? You're not academic. What does that mean? What does that even mean? I and and it's mind boggling because again, you're I'm here, you know, I've heard this so many times over the course of four years from people of a particular age group. A age group that basically their teaching style no longer is is it's no longer suitable for the new age that's coming. Guys, I'm gonna bring up something that could be possibly totally off topic, but Elon Musk. Elon Musk just developed a semi truck that's unbelievable. You guys can go watch that on YouTube if you want. And he developed a Roadster Tesla. All energy, no more gas. Did school teach him that? <clears throat> go ahead, I'll wait. Did school teach him to develop a semi truck that goes faster than a regular diesel truck that actually is much less inexpensive than a diesel truck and all these other things? Did school teach him that? Did academics teach him that? Go ahead, I'll wait. Did academics teach him that? Uh, 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 Yeah, yeah. For those of you out there who are just, you know, so burnt up on all these academics. Seriously. 
This is why I'm so against university right now, and I truly believe that university is going down. Now, of course, you want to be a nurse, a doctor, a lawyer, all these different things by all means. But at the same time, people, what I'm trying to say here is teachers are put into a classroom to inspire, instill, and deliver knowledge that a book doesn't have. I don't give a damn about academics. You can learn academics at home. I could give you a book on academic writing. You could learn it at home. I could learn the entire, I, I don't even need, oh my God, frustrating as hell. You're, you're not academic. What the fuck? What does that mean? What are you talking about? And what does that have to do with anything that I'm doing in terms of my life? Not academic. Go talk to Mark Zuckerberg about that. Go talk to Bill Gates about that. They have, it's not even about money, but they have inspired and changed the world in terms of connection. What have you done? Oh. So what I'm trying to say is, of course, in relation to the podcast yesterday that I, you know, I gave a nice little, uh, nice little thing to in terms of my uh, Chris from Virginia, of course, in America. Um, You got to follow your bliss. You really need to figure out these teachers who I've had who just stood up in front of the class and talk, 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 talk. We had no activity, so we were just a receiver. Bad. Japanese teacher who would teach us and we didn't have, you know, a chance to do, you know, uh, presentations in Japanese and role playing stuff like that. Nope. They don't do anything like this in the real. And, and the thing is, these, this generation gap, they truly believe that acad- academics is the way to go. And what is that developing? OK, you're going to get into this particular university and you're going to get this particular salary for the rest of your life. You can retire at the age of 60 and then you're just going to wait for the next 30 years to die. Wow. Academics. Academics. Wow. A teacher is supposed to give something to the student that the student has never had before and the book does not have. If you don't do that, who will? I really want you guys to sit down and think about that. When you go to class and he teaches you about this and that, you're like, I want you to just ask your teacher, why are we learning this? And he's going to stand there. He's not going to give you an answer. His answer is probably going to be because you need it for grades, because you need it for this, because you need it for that, all these societal reasons. But what about the core genius reasons to why you are learning? Nope, nothing. So am I inspiring you guys to go into international schools and pay a crazy amount of money to learn at this place and that place? No, 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 because that's very expensive. Not everyone can do that. But I'm telling you right now that the new age of teaching, the Gen Z way of teaching, the Gen Y, uh. I'm Gen Y, obviously, but Gen Z, what's going to happen in the next 20 to 40 years is going to be beautiful. And of course, these Gen B baby boomers aren't going to be here to see that, but you're going to see the evolution develop. I remember Singapore. Singapore, they had uh, a course on enrichment and aeropilot, and these students were like between 9 and 11 years old. And of course, the director at NIST told me, he's like, yeah, but see, that's they're predicated on more of a systematic way of thinking. This is more of a free way of thinking. And these students are unbelievably brilliant. They have such a wonderful learning environment. 58 countries in one school. That's the way to teach. And I brought that with me and I'm not going to de- I'm not going to delete that or get rid of that either. I'm not going to go page by page. I my students could go home and go page by page. As a matter of fact, if they come in and I'm gonna, and they say, "Hey, uh, you know what? That's a great topic for discussion this morning." And if they come in and they say, hey, uh, okay, so let's open this page up, page number one, page number two, page of number three. Or if I put it up, I'm going to say academic versus real way of education. What does this mean? I'm going to write that on the board, and I'm going to have them think about it. And we're going to have a full-on discussion about it because if we go page by page, what is that doing for you? Seriously, what is it doing for you? Boom. I win. So, guys, what I'm trying to tell you here is knowledge whatever you're trying to attain in life go after that there are so many different books on self-confidence and so many books on this and that if you're a nurse yes you're gonna have to do academics but how many how much how much money do universities especially in the uk and america how much money do they make from you taking a goddamn music appreciation 101 class and you're becoming a nurse what is a music appreciation 101 class going to do for you in terms of helping a patient i win there it is welcome to The old style, the historical way of what academics are. But the new way is beautiful. And you know what? 
it's time to start developing that. And with that being said, people, I just want you guys to take that with you today. I just want you to take it with you today and ask yourself, hmm, this probably is right. This is correct. I wonder if this is the truth. Yes, 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 yes. And with that being said, people, I want you guys to have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and evening. Thank you for tuning back into another pre-recorded podcast. Stay tuned for more. Got the next masks. Coming up Saturday and Sunday, as always, this is your host, Arsenio, over and out.